Hey y'all, my name is Sydney. This is my husband Jeremy. A little over a year ago, we sold our house in Alabama. We bought a camper and we've been traveling around the United States. And today we are starting a crazy new adventure on this trip. Uh, the past two, past year or so, we went to Disney World, we went to the Pacific Northwest last summer. This year we're going to the Northeast and our first big stop is New York City. So we're going to be RVing in New York City, which is just a little bit stressful for me to think about uh, and me to do, having to drive the camper, uh, getting close to New York. We've driven through big cities like Las Vegas and San Francisco and Atlanta. Chicago. You Chicago. Chicago. Oh, Chicago was a rough one last year trying to get through there, uh, but we've made it. So I think I'm semi-prepared to do this. But what I wanted to do is kind of give you a little bit of the RV adventure in New York City, uh, show you where we're going, uh, where we're staying, what our setup is going look like so maybe uh, give you a few tips to uh, help in New York City now again we're in central Pennsylvania now we haven't left yet so we have no idea what's ahead of us but we hope it's gonna be a great trip hope you stick with us and uh, watch our video this week uh, if you haven't subscribed to us click down below and subscribe we've got how many videos do you think we've got 30 plus we've got 30 plus videos from season one and season two that I think you'll enjoy also have a Facebook page called on the rodents that I think you will enjoy as well that has picture updates and stuff we also post some articles that we write so I hope you enjoy it now let's get to RVing in New York City eastbound and down and we are rolling headed from central Pennsylvania towards New York City. Uh, we are taking a route through Reading and Allentown to keep us from going through Philadelphia. Going through Philly is maybe 10 or 15 minutes uh, closer but I don't have to deal with the traffic so we're going a little bit north and then coming into New York City. Um, a little bit worried about driving this thing in New York but I have um, been studying the map very very heavily um, getting on Google Maps and dropping my little person down onto the street level and going through the streets that I've got to be on to make sure I can clear them and turn them and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, are you apprehensive or nervous about anything camping in New York? Um, well, the place we're staying at says they have like overnight, like, well, I guess it's all day security. I'm really not sure. I've read multiple reviews. I've been reading all the reviews on Google and Sometimes that's good and sometimes that's a bad thing to do because really all the people who had really bad experiences will go on there. Like the people with good experiences, I've never gone on and left like good like good reviews. Like usually it's someone who's had a bad review, a bad experience and they want them to know about it. So I've been reading some like not so good reviews, but there's also some really good reviews, so I'm really just not sure what to expect. Um we also, they don't have sewer, it's just power and water, so... We usually camp with water, sewer, and power. I mean, By the time we wash the dishes, dishes and dishes. Take everybody taking showers and everything, so not really looking forward to using the bathhouse, but not a huge deal. Well, there are a few things that we're apprehensive or nervous about, but we're greatly looking forward to our time in New York City. Uh, today's Monday, we're going to be there until Saturday. We're going to be heading out and headed towards Connecticut after that, but we're going to spend a week uh, in the city. We are mostly country folks. We live literally in the country with your next nearest neighbor, hundreds and hundreds of yards, maybe half a mile or more from you. Uh, so this will be a definite change of pace, but we are geared up and excited about it. behind me there's this wonderful telephone pole at the very front of our campsite it was a beast to park into to get in there and back and forth and back and forth uh, but I think I finally made it we're barely inside the line there that we're supposed to be into uh, but we are in New York City uh, things pretty tight around here driving it was pretty tough but not as bad as I had anticipated everything went smoothly 
Night one hitting the town. We are headed to Times Square. We've got about a five minute walk to the subway, maybe 15, 20 minute subway trip to Times Square. We're gonna be super tourists. Look at mom right there with her, her uh, bag and her camera. I've got the backpack. Kelly is down here. Um, just strolling in this stroller. So we are gonna be super tourists and, and do the first, oh, city's here too. And do the most tourist thing we can do and go to Times Square. in New York and this guy has us lost can't figure out what subway for us to get back on like I mean I thought we were gonna just wait 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 no no we not, weren't no, lost. No, no I knew exactly where we were in New York I didn't yeah. know how to get where at we were the going. subway station but couldn't get us back to the camper so there's he, like and then 10 he said, different ways get this. and then no sh and then he said he said I'm gonna be good at this I just have to I just have, I haven't looked at it well, that's the problem. He hasn't even looked at what the subways, where they go and what they do. Day one. Day one. I'll have my stuff together better tomorrow uh, than I did today. Uh, we're going to go back and get a little rest and then see a little more of New York tomorrow. So we finally made it back to the campground last night at like 1130 or some crazy time like that. It wasn't like that bad. And we got to sleep in this morning. Callie slept to almost nine o'clock this morning. So it's on, It's almost 11 o'clock and we're just now getting started. But um, we've got some fun things on the agenda today. Yeah, we are going to the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island. As you can see behind us, it is- Like the best view of New York City you can get. It is an awesome view. We're at Liberty State Park over across the river into New Jersey. Um, and we're about to go get on the ferry to go to the Statue of Liberty and see Ellis Island. So it should be a fun day. The weather is absolutely gorgeous here. Um, so we're looking forward to a great day. Callie, you going to go ride the boat? You excited? Got her sunglasses. Yeah, she's so cool with her sunglasses. Cutest thing ever. went through Ellis Island and we all really enjoyed it. Um, it's a, a place that it's kind of sombering even though a lot of good things happened here. A lot of people came through here and were kind of making their dreams uh, come true or come to reality. It is still kind of somber here looking at the stories of people who had nothing and have come to America uh, to try to find a way. 
Um, so we went through it, started third floor, worked our way down. It's a great museum. Uh, they've done a great job um, just preserving the history and showing what people went through and what it was like getting here and getting processed and all here. Uh, now we're going to eat a little lunch and you may be able to see in the background the, the Statue of Liberty. Uh, kind of an awesome picnic spot to have the Statue of Liberty in the background. So we're going to eat a little lunch and then hop the ferry and head to the Statue of Liberty. Do you want to know what my favorite part was? Lunch. My favorite part was they had this room of, it was called Treasures from Home, and it was like a bunch of different families and like their different stuff that they brought over here from home. And it was like the best organized, labeled, I mean everything was labeled exactly what it was. It was a really cool room. It was my favorite room here. Yeah, just thought I'd share that. They really have done an exceptional job here. If you're anywhere near here, you got to check out Ellis, Ellis Island. It's a pretty neat place. What is it, Callie? Liberty. What is it? Liberty. Liberty? Say Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. You'll never guess where we're at. Statue of Liberty. Callie keeps saying, singing the Liberty song. She'll say Liberty, Liberty, like the commercial on TV. Um, she's singing it now. What'd you say? explore, see what's all, see what all's here. We're not going to be able to go up in the crown or do the um, pedestal thing, whatever it is, um, because you got to book that six months in advance, and we did not do that. So we're just going to walk around, check it out. It's really cool. We are about to head out of here. We are um, at the Statue of Liberty now. We're about to get back on the ferry and it'll take us back to um, Liberty State Park where we left from. Um, I think that's it for the day. We have done a lot at the museum at the um, Ellis Island and Statue of Liberty. We're gonna go back, maybe get a little nap if we get there in time, um, eat some dinner and get in bed earlier than 11.30 like last night. Tomorrow we got a big day. We got uh, tomorrow we're going to be going to the 9-11 Museum and then exploring down by the New York Stock Exchange uh, in the Business Financial District down there. So that should be uh, fun tomorrow. Uh, it's we been get lost, We won't get lost. Uh, it's been gorgeous today and we find ourselves taking the same picture over and over and over yeah. because it's so beautiful well, today. You can't stop. Yeah, the weather is perfect. The sky is so blue. The city behind you and then the statue in front of you. It's just hard to stop taking pictures. It's an amazing picture. It really does. So we're gonna go back, get a little rest, and then look forward to a great day tomorrow. Some of you may be wanting to take your RV to New York City, but kind of are hesitant due to the traffic, due to where am I going to park this thing in a city. Uh, I just want to give a quick review of the RV park that we stayed at, which is Liberty Harbor RV Park in Jersey City, New Jersey. It's just right across the Hudson uh, from downtown Manhattan. Uh, overall, we really did enjoy the campground. Um, it, honestly, it's nothing more than a gravel parking lot, so if you're looking for some big five-star resort with swimming pools and all these spacious sites and all that that's not what you're getting here you're literally getting a town uh, type RV campground there's 50 spots in a very small area so it is kind of tight however there are six kind of areas I wanted to talk about very very briefly about the RV park first is the security I was kind of worried being uh, in such a large city about the security of it but they have security guards that are there uh, full time, uh, we left our kayaks out and that sort of stuff. I had them chained to the, the camper, but we left our stuff out like that and nothing was ever messed with. We never felt sketchy. It was never anything of an, any issue when it came to security. Um, 
We also uh, want to talk about how easy it is to get down in there. Um, if you follow the directions that are on the website from Liberty Harbor, it's actually fairly simple to get into. Uh, most of the roads are pretty wide. It's pretty easy swings in there. Uh, now, my actual campsite was tough to get into. Most of them are easy, but mine had a telephone pole dead in the front of it, and it was tough to back into that spot. It's probably the single hardest spot I've ever had to back into in a campground before. Um, it's also very clean. There's no trash. There's somebody that comes around every day picking up all the trash. It's not like it's a messy place. The bathrooms, they're not uh, the best, but they're not the worst. They're not dirty or anything. Um, it's just they're not well vented. And so uh, there's a lot of moisture that collects in there from the showers. Uh, there's a little bit of mold growing on the ceiling and stuff. Nothing crazy or just really nasty. It's just it needs to be ventilated a little better um, than what it has been. Um, how, as far as proximity to the city, it's great. It's five block walk to the uh, path, which is the subway that takes you from New Jersey to New York City. And then from there, you can go wherever you want to in New York City on the subway. Of course, you get Uber or Lyft as well. Um, but we just took the path uh, into town every day, and it was very, very easy to get into town. Probably took us 15, 20 minutes to get into town each day. The staff at Liberty Harbor was absolutely great to work with. Uh, talk with the ladies in the office making the reservations, and then when I was checking in, and then any issues that arise, they were absolutely wonderful. Um, I can't recommend them enough. They were definitely one of the highlights of the campground there. Um, a couple of the negative things. For dogs, uh, there's really nowhere for your dog to go to the bathroom. I mean, it's just a gr literally a gravel parking lot. Uh, there's some spots to walk, but I guess that's what city people are doing anyway. As we were walking around, people were walking their dogs all over the place and nothing but uh, concrete jungle to go on. So um, that was kind of tough. So if you have little dogs or big dogs or whatever you're traveling with, uh, do keep in mind there's not a ton of spots for them. Same with children. There's not like a playground or any grass, green open area for them uh, to run around in. But again, what you're there for, what you're at Liberty Harbor RV Park for is the proximity to the city. You're trying to be close to the city and as far as that goes you can't beat the proximity uh, to New York, New York City. So I would recommend this uh, campground. Just keep in mind a couple things. One, you're not going to have sewer. Two, it really is just a gravel parking lot. Um, and three, the, the sites are pretty, are pretty tight to get in and out of, um, but the proximity of it is absolutely great and I think that it'll be a good base camp for your trip to New York City.